All right. So Donald Trump won the 2024 election pretty handily. How are we all coping? Obviously, my guy Fred over here is not taking it very well. Like, Look at that shirt. He's so libbed up. Uh, don't worry, though. <laughs> I'm going to address the situation because I'm like your favorite video essayists, like fourth or fifth favorite video essayist with under 10,000 subs. So, you know, I'm, I'm definitely qualified. Yeah, I'm going to do this off the cuff. Pretty wild. Here's the thing I think content's gonna wanna do. Content is gonna wanna be like dissect and examine and be precious about what is the exact reason this happened. Some people are gonna be like, this is all because of sexism and racism. And other people are gonna be like, no, it's because the Democrats suck. And then other people are gonna be like, no, uh, it's because voters suck. And then other people are gonna be like, no, it's the right wing like media ecosystem. And other people are gonna be like, it's because social media has got us all, uh, you know, walled in. And it's like, you know what? All of the above, right? It's not one thing, it's all of these things. If you're watching this video, <laughs> it, you you know that all of these things were a problem before the election anyway. So there's no point in being like the Spider-Man meme right now. The other thing that I think content is gonna wanna do is um, tell you about what we need to do and how we need to respond. And I think that's much healthier. But one of the things that's gonna really hammer home is how you should really take care of yourself right now. Do what you gotta do to feel safe and warm and comfy and cozy and you know take care of you. And I think that is good and really well-intentioned. That's cool, but also focus, like, like do, do what you gotta do. But like snap out of it and then focus. You only have like a few months before like Orange Man gets his dumb ass in the seat and shit starts getting really weird. There are concrete things that I think maybe if you're an American, you should be doing right now. And this is not an exhaustive list. This is just the stuff I can think off the top of my head. If you have better recommendations or different recommendations, do it in the comment section. Let's go. Obviously protect yourself, protect your family, protect your friends, check in with them, pay their bills, ask for help if you need help with your bills. Now's not the time to be shy. You should also stock up on contraceptives if you use those. Cis women definitely get off your period tracker app, but like, honestly, you, you guys know better than me. Cis women are way ahead of this. So um, you don't need me to tell you. And most importantly, if you're someone like me with a medical condition that means that you are dependent on a particular medication uh, to continue living or even just have a decent quality of life, stock up on that medication legally, of course. I would never suggest you do anything illegal, of course, because everything that is illegal is immoral. Um, so you wouldn't want to do anything like that. So if you do have a particular medical condition, definitely look for a community that is already built around that medical condition. Being online is great for this. You can find subreddits for this. You can find discords for this. But of course, because we're never doing anything illegal, you would certainly never, ever, ever ask for someone to send you life-saving medication. So certainly don't go to these groups and ask for uh, mutual aid with regards to medication in any way, shape, or form. That would be bad and criminal. And of course, you know, criminals like these are really hard to catch. These criminals willing to send life-saving medication to, let's say, a type 1 diabetic who's rationing their insulin, especially if they use uh, secure lines of direct messaging. And if they don't leave a return address, that would be be tricky to catch a criminal, a horrible bad guy like that. Uh, of course, these types of criminals think that they're doing something good and moral, so they are particularly careful not to do this kind of thing around controlled substances uh, because they wouldn't want to enable someone. They just want to help people get the medication that they need to survive, so um, they're very especially careful around uh, engaging in mutual aid with people that they don't know with regards to those kinds of medications. Uh, but that they're still criminals and they're still bad people. And so uh, you shouldn't be that kind of person or rely on these kinds of online communities for resources in that regard. Definitely don't do that. And again, reiterating, uh, do what you can legally to get a surplus of medication. If you're still watching this, if you're like on a channel like this, if you follow me at all, I can make a pretty good educated guess of what kind of person you are. So I'm just going to talk to you, the singular person who's like sitting down and watching this right now. Don't get blackpilled. I mean, obviously this sucks and it's easy to get blackpilled and you're not wrong in thinking that so many people um, basically stabbed us all in the back, either because at worst they only care about themselves uh, or at best are complete and total rubes, but that's not everyone. You're obviously not going to give up on yourself. You're obviously not going to give up on your family. You're obviously not going to give up on your friends. You're also not going to give up on humanity, right? That's not you. That's not what you're going to do. Not everyone has abandoned you, so you're not going to abandon everyone else, right? Don't be just completely abdicated to the, you know, uh, uh, right-wing victory lap right now. Look, is this alarmist? Yes, for sure it's alarmist. But that's what you do when there's a fire, you ring the fire alarm. Even if that fire winds up not growing and spreading and burning the whole house down, you ring the fire alarm. So that's what I'm doing here. It's important to remember that, yes, America is a right-wing country with 
right-wing values and conservative values. But there are some weird things about us. Like if you do a poll, no matter where you go, most people given the choice between mass deportation and mass amnesty, choose mass amnesty. Most people do not like the mass commodification and corporatization of everything. And most people agree that trans people are treated unfairly and deserve more equality and equity and rights. Which is not to say that everything isn't so fucking right wing because it fucking is, but you're not alone alone, you know? I'm going to do all these things with you side by side. And also I'm going to keep making videos. I'm going to keep making videos about this subject, about the internet, about video games. And no matter what I do, I'm going to be working on the skill of making change irresistible and seductive because I think that's your job as someone who does creative things and puts it out there. So if you are a content creator um, and you want to dissect and uh, deconstruct and pull apart, by all means, do that with your content. But please, please, please work on seducing your viewers and your audience and your subscribers into having the motivation and energy and will to build something out of that rubble. Straight up, I think that's your job. All right, I'll see you next time, you know, when I'm like complaining about the internet or like yellow paint in video games or something like that. The hilarious thing is like the Groiper gamers are like <laughs> really going to find out that they made the wrong choice when like their Xbox is like three times as expensive. Of course, that's very cold comfort.